So if you want to build your own invisibility shield, this is what you'll need. A riot shield, 12 by 24 sheet of wax sand, and the heart and functionality of the whole project, lenticular sheets. I can demonstrate this in a pretty simple manner by removing our image here. And now you can see what I mean. The hammer handle and the screwdrivers completely disappear, and also you notice that the holes on my pegboard seem to be elongated. You'll notice that now you can pretty much clearly see that my hand is behind it. So that would not do us any good if this was on the shield with this there. So that whole thing has to go. Because, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it says that it's crystal clear. And I've done some experimenting with it, and I found that to be true. So you want something that's basically as close to invisible as you can get. Seems really weird just casually talking about how to build an invisibility shield. <laughs> what more things you're gonna need? Just a buttload of clothespins just to make sure that everything is pressed down. Because you want the glue along the edge to be completely uniform, as you can see. And just in case anything goes wrong, you're gonna want some alcohol. All right guys, welcome back. So I've let this dry for over 24 hours. The glue is all nice and hard, but it's not super hard. It still has some enough flex for this shield to be able to bend and move without damaging any of the bonds. Now polycarbonate is a really fun material and actually you don't need to heat it to bend it. Okay, so we're going to have this bent something like that. And then probably we're going to have like two inch sections on each side. They're going to be bent at the same concave angle. as I can get to those holes. It doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be even. And now, I think all we do is hurry up and wait. And a whole lot of that with this project. Thank you. 